Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics I'm on page 42 and the question I'm going to do is number 6 It says a train slows down from 80 meters per second to 50 covering a distance of 650 meters find the magnitude of the deceleration So the first thing we'll do is we'll sketch what's going on on our velocity or our speed time graph So we'll say speed and we know that's measured in meters per second and we'll have time down here measured in seconds and we know that it starts at uh, 80 meters per second and goes down to 50 meters per second so say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 like that so at time t is equal to 0 your speed is equal to 80 okay so we'll just sketch that Whereas t is equal to 0, it's at the origin, that means there's t is equal to 0 and v or speed is equal to 80. And we know that um, we know that at an, another time, we don't know what the time is, at a time t, the, velocity, the speed is now 50 meters per second. And because it's uniform acceleration or deceleration, we can draw the two of those by line. Now, let's just have a quick look at this. We have there the shapes like that so we know for example that the area under this curve which is this line here uh, which is the triangle and the rectangle will give us the total distance now it doesn't seem that we have enough information to do that because we don't have what t is equal to because we need half the base by the, by the perpendicular height for the triangle so what we're going to do is we're going to use our uvast formula so we'll say u v a s and t so u is equal to 80 v is equal to 50, a is equal to, uh, well that's what we're looking for, and the distance is equal to 650, and we don't know what the time is. So we need to find out both the acceleration and the time. So v is equal to u plus a t. If we use that formula, we have two unknowns, that won't work. Just to show you, we have both v and u, but we don't know this here, so that's no good to us. So v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, that'll do. So 50 squared is equal to 80 squared plus 2 times 650 times a. So let's pull out the calculator, 80 squared minus 50 squared is equal to 3900. 2, I'll say 650 multiplied by 2 is 1300. Therefore, A is equal to 3900 over 1300 with a negative sign. Just check that at the back of the book. Let me think now. We're on question 6. Correct. So A is equal to 3, well, it's not 3, A is equal to minus 3 meters per second squared. Why is it minus? It's because it's decelerating. We know it's decelerating because the initial velocity is greater than the final velocity. That's why we know that we're decelerating and therefore it has a negative sign. So that was pretty simple. Um, yeah, that, that was pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.